we have GDP economic data, over 3,000 rows and 46 columns. And the goal from the indicator name column is to get only GDP rows. And from the country column, we have this huge list of countries that we need to extract. And we only need the data from the columns 2000 to 2010. Now, I already have four videos with the help of Mr. Excel and Bill Sizzes that show how to solve this problem. So you can go check these out if you want to see how to do it with Power Query, Advanced Filter, or Worksheet Formulas. But since these videos, of course, now we have dynamic array formulas. So in this video, we're going to see how to do it with the filter function. And the bonus at the end might just blow your mind. Now we're going to need the field name. So I'm going to paste country. And then for the year 2000, I'll enter that. Highlight one cell below, and then drag this to the side. There we go, to 2010. And we'll use filter. The array, it's going to be the inside of the table. And there are a lot of empty rows in this data set. So I'm going to Control Arrow, Down Arrow. And then I know that Country has something in every row. So Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Shift Right Arrow. Now let's do Control Backspace to jump back to the active cell. That's the full table we want to filter, comma. And for include, our first condition, we'll start right below indicator name, Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace anytime you are equal to GDP. And we'll just see what this returns. Close parentheses, close parentheses. And sure enough, it shows only rows with GDP. Now we have to deal with the country. And we're given the country all in one cell. If this was a column, then we'd use a slightly different approach. But luckily, we got everything in a single cell. Now, this is a spilled array formula. So the top left cell houses the formula. All the other cells have a ghost of the formula. But the formula doesn't really live there. So we'll F2 in the top cell and edit. We have a second condition we need to put into include. And this is an AND logical test, because both have to be true. And we use multiplication when we're doing an AND logical test. Now, the goal is, from the country column over there, to check all of these different countries. Well, we can actually do this with the search function. And normally, we put a single item into find text. But I'm going to put that whole column. So Control left arrow, down arrow, Control Shift down arrow, Control backspace. So in find text, I'm doing a function argument array operation. It's going to give me an answer for each country in that column. And the answer will be, did it find that country name in this single cell text string? And it will give me the position where it found it, comma. The within text, that's the single cell with all the country names, close parentheses. Now, if we highlight just this part and hit F9, we get a bunch of value errors. But in some of the positions, it returns a number where it found the country. So what we're interested in are the numbers. Control Z. So we wrap is number around search, close parentheses. And now when I hit Enter, we have filtered by GDP and only the countries where the country name is listed in that cell. Now, the next task is to filter the column. So in the top cell, we're going to hit F2. Now, if I highlight this and hit F9, we want to notice something about this resultant array. Curly brackets always house the array. Comma means go over a column. And when we see a semicolon, that means go down a row. So this array has rows and columns. But our next task is to filter this by the columns, Control Z. So that means we use a second filter. There's the entire table, comma. And in include, what we need to give it is trues and falses across the columns. Now, whatever array we put here of trues and falses has to be the same size as the original table. And we have the names of the fields that we want. So let's compare two lists of items using xmatch. Now, the lookup value, normally we give it one item, but we're going to give it the entire 46 column field name. So Control-Shift-Left-Arrow, Control-Backspace. 
That'll do a function argument array operation, delivering an answer for each column, comma. And these are the items we're looking up. Close parentheses. And now if we evaluate this with F9, you can see that's an array, but there's only columns represented by commas. And once again, what we're interested in are the numbers. So Control-Z is number. And close parentheses, that's our formula. When I hit Enter, there's the resulting table. Now, I actually already added some number formatting here. So if I Control-1 to open up Format Cells, I use this custom number formatting to display the numbers in millions. Click OK. And it indicates millions up here. Now, this is the Dynamics Build Array formula that can accomplish this task. And we saw four videos so far. but I want to show you one of the solutions. And this is going to be way old school. So on this sheet right here, if I added a column and simulated the AND logical test, remember we had to use is number and search, but this time we're going to do it one cell at a time. And then we're also checking to see whether the record includes GDP. If I copy this formula down, double click and send it down, the formula works row by row. But here's the amazing thing, Control-Z, if you have a helper column that would go into a column next to the table, you can actually use this formula with advanced filter. And behind the scenes in memory, advanced filter will take the formula, copy it down, and figure out which rows to use. And here's all you have to do for advanced filter. Now you have to know the formula that you would copy down. You put it in a cell, and the cell above it cannot have one of the field names. You can leave it empty or put some words. Then list the column names that you want. I'm going to click in a single cell. Actually, I left this over here. I'm going to Control Shift down arrow, con Control Shift right arrow, Control Backspace. That got me back to the active cell, but I actually wanted the other corner. Watch this Control period gets me to the other corner. And now when I go up to Data, we never thought we'd have to use this again, Advanced Filter. I want to copy to another location. There's the table. The Criteria Range, this is where you put the formula that would be copied down, Cell Above and Formula. And the Copy To, this is where we put the names for the fields we want to extract. And that's it. Advanced Filter will do all the rest when I click OK. That is amazing. And Advanced Filter is sort of automatic. Control F3 to open up Name Manager. It automatically creates a criteria and extract range. The extract is that right there. And so if some data over here changed, like the actual numbers or something like that, we could just rerun Advanced Filter, and it remembers everything. Now, of course, you would come over here. And Control-1, Custom. We're going to put a comma, and then one, two commas at the end, where each comma represents three zeros. That's displaying in millions. Click OK. So I don't know. It seems like this advanced filter and formula, that seems easier than that filter formula. So I want to hear what you guys think. What do you think of this advanced filter? And what do you think of the filter function? All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. Here's some of the older videos if you want to go check these out.